What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know him in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive singles match, and for once it's not a live thing, I am um, actually giving you guys a singles tips and tricks video, and I, you know, I was actually going to record this thing live and then, you know, just delete the audio if the audio wasn't good or something, um, but surprisingly, this was actually a really good singles match. I do extremely well in it, so enjoy that in the background. But yeah, some of you guys have been requesting certain videos from me. This is one of them that was requested, a singles tips and tricks video. I'm sorry I haven't gotten to all of everybody's requests yet. I'm working on them slowly but surely, so please be patient with that. But yeah, the singles tips and tricks. So the number one thing to remember in singles is that it is all a mind game. Um, you know, it's all about figuring out your opponent, what they're going to do, getting in their head, and trying to not be predictable while predicting what your opponent is going to do. That is what you have to do. It is the most important thing. So um, one of the things you can also do is you can find and use crazy lines of sight. Now these can be ones off the start. For example on Warhawk here, if you spawn by Genas, you run through Genas and go to the tank and look through the ice cream alley. That way if you're quick and you have agility and marathon you can see if they cross to B or you will then know that they're going to A or sitting in their spawn. So there's things like that. There's also lines of sight to see the bomb, um, things like that. So you know, just be unpredictable with it. Don't go to the same spot every time, obviously. Also, as far as weapons go, the number one choice in singles is the MTAR. It's pretty good at range and really good at short range and really good at medium range. So it's overall the best weapon for this. It allows you to have speed, mobility, and damage. So that is the one that you will see the most often used and I recommend using it the most. Um, you, you can switch it up, go to an AR every now and then. I do that a lot. Not always, but sometimes. So don't be afraid to do that. Um, change your route and play style pretty much every single round. I mean, you can maybe keep the same play style but change your route a couple times in a row. But definitely, you got to change your play style a couple times. You, you'll notice in this gameplay, sometimes I play more campy, sometimes I rush more, sometimes, you know, it's just, it's things like that. Um, also, don't be afraid to sit in your spawn one round. I, I didn't do it, I'm, I may have done it on this map. I'm not sure. I, it, it might be a different gameplay I'm thinking of, but every now and then, I, I'll sit in my spawn just for one round in the game and I get the kill every time like nobody expects it really it's very very rare um, they might expect it on Warhawk if you've got the gene or the uh, ice cream spawn area um, people tend to check there but on a lot of maps you can just sit in your spawn and get an easy first kill also as far as planting goes make sure you either quick plant like right away you just rush in there get the bomb down or you wait until like 20 to 30 seconds. Now when you quick plant, you may want to wait just a second once you get to the bomb to see if he's rushing you. Otherwise, just get it down right away because he's either at the other bomb or playing passive then. Um, also, use smokes as decoys. I don't really think I do it in this game simply because I didn't set up my classes beforehand. In time, really, I kept my main competitive 4v4 ones. But uh, smokes are very, very effective. I've used it in singles before. I use my Thermal Remington class with my smoke a lot um, when I do decide to pull out an AR just because it's a really good tactic. I mean, you can either use it as a decoy a couple rounds and then do it again, but actually go through the smoke and they won't expect it. You know, you can do things like that. Just change it up. Also, don't be afraid to camp. I know that a lot of people have the misconception, oh, camping's bad and everything and you shouldn't do it. In singles, you've got to do it to, you know, to win the gunfights, to outsmart your opponent. You just got to do it sometimes. You can't run around like a headless chicken around the map a hundred times hoping to find the guy. It's not going to work. You can try and rush and flank him a couple times, but don't do it all the time. You've just got to play patient sometimes. Also, use nades and stuns to check the bomb. This is fairly important, although... One of the things I see them as a mistake a lot in singles is people will throw stuns and nades right away at the beginning and then they'll, you know, they'll give away their position and they'll stay over there. You can use a stun or a nade to try and make people think you're going somewhere, but I don't know, just be, I, I would be more conservative with my nades and stuns. I would try and use them to get people off of bombs while they're planning or defusing or something, um, maybe a common rush route. 
and you know they wouldn't be able to tell where it's being thrown from something like that uh, that can be done and another thing is that you always want to record when you play singles because everybody in singles disputes it is beyond annoying there's no teammates calming each other down or anything and the games are usually based somewhat around luck and people get very 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 upset um, like I said in my previous video one of my previous videos yesterday where I talked about disputing um, that was a singles match it happens all the time so you've got to have some proof to be able to upload otherwise you're gonna lose it every single time so please keep that in mind I don't want you guys losing singles and overall I want to let you guys know the, the last thing is to not get frustrated with singles please don't do it because singles does involve a lot of luck and it's just the way it is you've got to be able to deal with it you're gonna lose sometimes and there was nothing you could really do about it it's just bad luck sometimes so as you guys can see we're coming to the end of this video if you enjoyed it then please like comment and or subscribe if you didn't then let me know what I can do better next time constructive criticism goes a long way guys until next time everybody peace out